Hello, Raynan Suit here. Just doing a quick tutorial on um, the uh, multicam workaround for Final Cut Pro X. Um, in the new Final Cut, Apple left out the multicam support. So you have to do things a little bit differently, and it's kind of a downgrade for now. But Apple is making an update in the future to add this feature to Final Cut X. But for now, there is a workaround. So I'm going to show you the original way of doing it in Final Cut Pro 7. So I've got, uh, let me get rid of this here. Uh, I've got these two clips here. And in this one, I, I, in Final Cut 7, you have to manually sync it yourself. So you have to find either have a clapper or some kind of sound or cue to win the, to, to where you want the clips to sync up. So in this case, I found a part in this clip where a twig breaks and I'm going to use that spike in the audio to, um, sync it up. So check it out. Slipping out from underneath me. There's a twig snapping. Uh, let's look over at our audio over here. And if we go back right there, boom. So we're going to hit I and that's going to mark our in. We're going to go to our other clip here. My grip is literally slipping out from underneath me. There it is. Very silent in that one, but right there. I'm going to hit I again. So now you're going to take both of these clips and uh, make it a multi clip. And it's going to set the in and out points and sync these two clips up. So now you got your multi clip here. And what you're going to want to do is well, you can open this up. And you can roll your in back a little bit to wherever you need it to be. Drag your multi clip into your sequence. Yes, match the settings. Uh, let me turn on. Got to turn on your unlimited RT and make this to open. And that's going to sync both of these up. So whatever's in here is on there. So now what you do, and this is the final cut seven way of doing things. You play and you pick your clips. You can utilize these tree branches roots to kind of give you a little leg up. My grip. And then when you stop, it makes all the cuts for you. So that's how you multicam in Final Cut Pro 7. Now, we're going to jump on over to Final Cut Pro X and essentially do the same thing, and you'll see the difference here. I, I'm not sure why Apple decided to leave this feature out of Final Cut Pro X. I can see where they had trouble trying to figure out where they were going to implement the feature because they did get rid of... Uh, your viewer and all that so okay we're here in Final Cut X and we got our two clips here same two clips now when they do add multi cam support it's definitely gonna be a lot easier because you're not gonna have to manually sync it up anymore unless you don't have audio on one track but since both these tracks do have audio we're going to right click or control click if you're on a one button mouse or a macbook and uh, just hit synchronize clips boom it's already done now you take this you drag it into your sequence here and control click on that again and you want to break apart clip items and there's your two clips synced up so, now unfortunately I can't go through this and watch both video clips at the same time anymore and edit click back and forth to my cuts I want. I have to go through and say I'll have to play with this a little bit, drag this over and see what's over here. Okay. Oops. And so, or I can take my blade tool and get rid of that. And, I mean... This works for now, but Apple definitely has to fix this issue because it was a lot easier to do 
in Final Cut 7. But for now, I am willing to deal with this issue. And if anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you a lot. Thanks.